What are you at, foodies? Today, we're gonna make pretzels. And since most of us still can't travel, let's bring Oktoberfest into our own home by making our own pretzels. The pretzel recipe I'm gonna share with you guys is a no-lie pretzel recipe. So you don't have to worry about burning yourself with any dangerous chemicals. So if you're ready to make some pretzels, let's get into it. All right, foodies. First, we're gonna start by making sure our yeast is still alive. We're gonna do this by adding 275 mils of lukewarm water to a bowl or measuring cup. Preferably, you want the water to be 115 degrees Fahrenheit. To that, add five grams or two teaspoons of active dry yeast and five grams or one teaspoon of sugar. Give that a little stir, and while we wait for the yeast to become active, let's get out our mixer. To our mixing bowl, add 500 grams or three and a quarter cups of bread flour. You could also use all-purpose flour. Place your bowl in the mixer and add 10 grams or two teaspoons of salt. Note, you could do this by hand if you don't have a mixer. It'll just be a very good workout. Give that a little mix to spread the salt throughout the flour. Now pour in the yeast water mixture and mix on medium speed for two to three minutes or until the dough comes together. At this point, gradually add 35 grams of butter or three tablespoons, just a little bit at a time. Let it mix for another five minutes or so until you have a smooth, soft dough. While it's mixing, you might need to stop and adjust the dough to make sure it all gets incorporated. Once your dough is smooth, remove from the mixer. I'm going to give mine a few more kneads by hand before shaping it into a ball and placing it back into the bowl. Then cover with a damp towel or a cling film. We are going to let this rest for 20 to 25 minutes. While the dough is resting, let's set up our pretzel rolling station. Start by greasing a baking pan with some oil and place it to the side. Now grab your dough baby. You'll want to weigh out 120 gram portions or you could just divide into six equal pieces if you don't have a scale. Now take the dough and flatten it out using your fingertips. Now we want to roll this up but you need to pinch it as you roll so it all stays together. Give it a little roll to try to form it into a log shape. You want them to be about five inches long. Now place it onto the baking sheet. Once you have them all rolled, place a damp towel on top and let them rest for 20 minutes. This allows the gluten to relax so we can easily roll them into a pretzel shape. Once the logs have rested, line a baking sheet with parchment paper and place to the side of your workspace. To roll our dough into pretzels, use two hands and starting from the center, roll out the dough trying to keep the center thick and tapering it out on the edges. Don't rush, take your time slowly rolling the dough out. As it gets longer, you can start rolling with one hand. You can also form it the same thickness all the way down, but the Bavarian pretzel usually has a thick center. Once you have rolled your dough out to 25 to 27 inches, it's time to make pretzels. Do this by taking the two tips and crossing them. Fold them under themselves once and bring it up and touch the thick part of the pretzel. Press in and there you have it, a mighty fine looking pretzel. Now, if you want to get real fancy, and I mean like extra, you can twist the pretzels in the air to form them. Look at me go, still got it. But this takes a bit of practice. Ah, this brings me back to my days of working on a pretzel shop. We would make hundreds of these a day and we'd have to be pretty fast at doing it. So we had to do the whole twist in the air method. Now, do this to all your pretzels and cover them with a damp towel. Let rest for 45 minutes before covering with cling film and placing in the fridge for 24 hours. And if you really need that pretzel fix right away, you can wait just one hour. But those 24 hours help develop flavor of the pretzel. A little trick you can do is actually substitute half the water in the beginning with beer. The beer is gonna help give it a more aged flavor. Once you're ready to cook your pretzels, we are gonna give them a little bath. This bath will help get that true pretzel texture and look. Normally, you would use a lye bath here, but handling lye can be dangerous, so we're gonna play it a little safe and use baking soda in place of lye. Add four cups of water to a pot and bring it to a boil. Then add 65 grams of baking soda or three quarters of a cup, and then add 45 grams or three tablespoons of honey. Mix until it dissolves. We're going to slowly drop in one pretzel at a time and cook it for 20 seconds. Then carefully flip it over and cook it on the second side for another 15 seconds. Remove the pretzel and place onto a lined baking sheet. Cooking the pretzel in a bath helps gelatinize the outside, and so replicating what the lye bath does. Repeat this with all your pretzels and then top them with some flaky salt, or some pretzel salt if you have pretzel salt lying around. You could also give the fat side of the pretzel a little score if you'd like. Then place them into a 425 degree Fahrenheit oven for 15 to 20 minutes, or until you get a deep brown color. Remove from the oven and look at these beauties. Place them on a cooling rack to keep them crispy on the outside. No one likes a soggy pretzel. All right, foodies, let's give this bad boy a little try. Look at this guy. Look at that. Look at that pretzel. Now tell me that doesn't look like a legit pretzel. Because it is a legit pretzel. Let's uh, let's break this guy up and uh, give it a try. Look at that. Oh, yeah. Mmm. 
I mean, if you can't go to Oktoberfest, might as well bring Oktoberfest to you. Make yourself some pretzels. Give them a try, they're really good. These are so good. The saltiness. You're gonna love them. If you haven't done so already, make sure you give us a thumbs up, a subscribe, and until next time.